بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my name is Hadar Abdelatif and my project title is traffic light detection and counter recognition and the supervisor Dr. Zamani in this presentation I'll be going through introduction, literature review, research methodology, early result and last but not least conclusion the use of traffic light system is to control and monitor the automobile's flow through the road junction. The countdown team improves the traffic light system by displaying the remaining time for the current state of traffic light. Traffic lights have three different states as shown in figure 1, red, yellow and green. As motivation, using smart traffic light system and vehicles would provide an opportunity to reduce or eliminate the human exposure to difficult and unsafe driving and solve most safety related problems. As problem statement, most of the past research work on detecting the traffic light existence and as main challenge for this project is to detect the traffic light with counter. Second, controlling movement of routes interaction is done by a countdown timer which monitor the flow and safety of vehicles. And for research question, for research question number one, how to detect traffic light with counters? Number two, how to recognize the state and the digit on traffic light countdown timer. For objective, four objectives are stated. Number one, to detect an to design an algorithm for traffic light recognition with counter. Number two, to develop a vision system enabled to interpret the counter of the traffic light. Number three, to analyze the performance of the algorithm for traffic light counter detection. Number four, to analyze the performance of the algorithm for count to recognition. First scope, three scopes are stated. Number one, to de detecting and recognizing the number of traffic light from nine to zero. Number two, only two colors for detecting a uh, traffic light, which is green and red. Number three, detecting and recognizing the countdown time of traffic light during daytime only. Chapter three, research methodology consists of two starting points, the input video and the data set. Both of them will go through three processes for the output to be accomplished. The first phase, which is the pre-processing, second phase is detection phase, and last but not least is the recognition phase. After that, there will be an evaluation based on the prediction made before. For the pre-processing phase, there are two steps for the input video to be done in the pre-processing phase. Firstly, the input video have to be filtered into single frames and every single frame have to be enhanced and then the color space of that image has to be changed from RGB to HSV. The reason we change from RGB to HSV is because we want to separate the image luminance from color information. For detection phase, color thresholding and morphology dilation are used and we have used color thresholding for the purpose of removing parts of image that fall within a specified color range. This model can be used to detect object consist color value. For the dilation, the dilation adds, a, adds pixels to the boundaries of object in an image the number of pixels added depend on the size and shape of the structuring element used to process the image. And for the recognition phase, HOG descriptor and CN classifier is to be used for extracting and, and recognizing the digit of the countdown timer. This, the HOG descriptor, which is histogram of oriented gradients, is a feature descriptor that is used to extract features from image data. It is widely used in computer vision tasks for object recognition. And for CNN, which is convolutional natural network, and it is a multi-layered natural network with a special architecture to detect complex features in data. However, for before we input the video, the classifier have to be trained using the dataset which is numbers from 0 to 9. The dataset have been taken as mentioned before during daytime and only consists of green and red colors. 
so for the dataset they are also going to undergo the same phases which is pre-processing detection and the extraction and the feature extraction which is done by using the HOG they would be then go to the CNN classifier for the training process and then the that process would end with a evaluation as a result of this project we have been capturing data set for the training purpose and the CNN classifier from zero the, the data set that have been captured numbers from zero to nine in both green and red as we can see in figure three the data set that have been captured are in good condition for the classifier to be trained and then evaluated moreover every image that have been captured in the data set have to be converted from RGB type to HSV the purpose of doing that is to eliminate or to separate the image elimination from the color information moreover every pixel of the RGB has three values which is blue red green then they will have to be converted to HSV to another three different value hue saturation and value however in this page or in this slide we can see the HSV conversion result which is done using Python OpenCV method and last but not least as a conclusion the detection phase and recognition phase to be performed further the data set are ready for the next stage of the process which is the detecting phase. Assalamu alaikum and thank you so much.